Jane. Oh, I can see. We now I still have this issue with the uh, camera. And I'm waiting on a bird, so I can't say hello with my face. I have to say hello with my hands and my watercolours. But I think that's acceptable. Or just has to be, because what choice do I have? <laughs> now, the Euphoria watercolours is what, of course, I'll be using. But I think I'm going to have to incorporate a little bit of Dr. Ink, the drink pens. You can pronounce it either way. Drink your ink. Actually, don't drink your ink. Use your ink. But this is Dr. Ink. Oh, whatever. It's a pun. And as you may have deciphered, we're very punny around here. Okay. I'm also just going to remind you, it's January. We've got the Austin-inspired prompts. You can see these on my blog and in our Jane Davenport group and you can have fun with this uh, and if you do use uh, JMD Art Supplies then you can join the group and you can share what you do. It's the 8th today. Oh we've got the social ladder. Mm, I quite like incorporating a ladder as a symbol. You know it's sort of like um, uh, you know raising your energy raising the not raising the roof but climbing like well, I suppose there's social climber but I mean at the end of that someone that's trying to better themselves and better their lot in life so anyway the social ladder it's a real thing and that's the prompt for today that might work its way into what we're doing today or not but I just want you to know that that's there so you can join in if you want to now what else so what I think I'm going to do, Tattoo Ink has been put into the Dr. Ink pens. And every time I say Dr. Ink, in my head I hear Dr. Doc, Dr. Doc, Dr. Beat, okay? So I can't help that, the Miami sound machine. <laughs> beat, beat, tits, doing the song on my head. So the way that the Dr. Ink works... And then, of course, we're going to use the euphoric. euphoria. We're going to go euphoric. But I'll just, the tattoo ink in these amazing bottles is waterproof. So I've used, I've popped those in. So I'm very keen on using neon pink um, as my stuff. Oh, where's my neon pink pen? Oh, there it is, a few. Oh. <laughs> Panic. Right. Which reminds me <gasps> that I need to take another black pen up to my office. I need to make another black pen. So what this comes with, just in case you don't know, uh, I haven't got any totally empty ones. I've filled them all up now. Um, here I've got more, of course. I have a stash. I have a hoard. And uh, this little foam thing just pops out of the pen. Just tap it and out it comes. And you put that in here. Soaks up the ink. And then you put that back in there. Then you put the end on and voila, you have a pen. A wonderful little pen. Now I'm just going to do that like that so it goes in even. Stevens, perfect. So I've got black, I've got neon pink. What a lovely start. Why wouldn't we want to start a drawing? And then that's waterproof. And then when I have my watercolour, there'll be no movement. This will be doing the movement. Right, okay, we've got a plan. What we're drawing, I don't know. The Euphoria watercolour <laughs> is 66 colours, not 44 like I first kept on saying, like an absolute crackpot that can't count. 44 colours. Oh my gosh, 66, 66, 66 colours. And the whole idea with Euphoria is that if you love watercolour, this is just 66 new colours for you to play with. Fantastic. Great little lightweight case. We've just stripped it down to the bare essentials. Uh, you can take these out of here and put a magnet on it and use, put them in another tin, do whatever you like. We can just leave them like this. Um, I'm leaving them like this for the time being. And uh, it comes with this swatch card, so I've obviously put the colours on it. It's got the coloured side. And it's got the side you can add your colours in. And it also has this. This has got some info. And you can practice some little faces. I've done a bigger face. So the little faces 
I don't know why, I just have. I've also added on here, on my set, a little bit of pigment pebble. I just attached it with water, added a little gum arabic to it. And I've got two shimmers going on here that I can add over, incorporate into my watercolour. What else do I need to show you? That's it really. So the whole idea is that, especially for beginners with watercolour, one of the most fabulous things you can learn, or what watercolour will help you learn, is how to mix colour. But that's a whole learning curve that comes after actually learning how to use watercolour and play with it and feel at peace and easy and let it make you feel relaxed. It takes a little, it's a bit of a learning curve, it really is. So trying to learn watercolour and colour mixing all at the same time is a bit overwhelming and then people think they don't like watercolour. And uh, it's not that, it's you're just trying to do too much at once. Let's do the colour first. Here, you can mix colours, of course, with this as well. But, you know, we need to attack things bit by bit, right? And that allows us to do that. I'm going to use my brand new journal. I'm going to close this big, beautiful one. Goodbye, little 160-year-old papers. Oh, this huge journal jacket. I love the Right. Pop you there, pop you there. Oh, I can even bring the camera down a little. Sha la la. <gasps> la -de -da. We'll put the date in of when I started. It's always a good idea to put at least your email address uh, in a journal, especially if you're ever going to walk out of the house with it. Because if you've ever lost one, you know it feels pretty bad. This is the Back to the Fuchsia journal. Some sides of the surface are, have a little bit of texture. Some are smooth. And the reason I have the two textures in my journals is because water... I'm a mixed media artist, so I like to use all sorts of media. Some media prefers a little bit of texture. And some days I prefer a little bit of texture. And some media prefers smooth, and some days I prefer smooth. So between all of those different factors, I've kind of got myself covered. This is a, a natural coloured watercolour paper, a hardbound book, bloody blah. It's even got a little hot pink. And this is why it's called Back to the Future, because of the colour of the journal. Okay, we'll continue on with our hot pink. I'm just going to have a quick look at questions. Hey, pages of an art journal. Well, I can tell by your name that you art journal. <laughs> um, oh yes, the Dr. Ink pens. Get a little, get one set first, see how you like them. And then you can just keep adding and adding and adding. The other thing is you can get the in, there are just the foam inserts. I haven't got any here on my desk, do I? They were around. Um, and you can, hot swap things and you could I think maybe you could lock it into something a little airtight something and hot swap uh, I would be more inclined to put less if you're going to do that put less ink and have the inserts and then swap um, or just keep adding pens which is what I would do uh, the little set comes in six with the cute little case oh, I love it so much I love what I do so much so I drew these little drawings uh, when I was in Japan, and I was, this is sort of me here, my 60s uh, <laughs> Liza Minnelli era, uh, of which neither I am, but in my mind as I was drawing, and these were all just thinking of my favourite things, inks, Frida Kahlo, <laughs> flowers, mermaids, uh, art supplies, colours. Okay, so that's what's on there. It comes with a set of sticky labels, so you can put a little note of what it is that's on there. Uh, you can put that it's the brush. Of course, I intend to add other tips over time. And a little instruction card. All in a nice little pochet. It's very nice little thing. Okay, enough faffing around. Annie says some of us just don't like mixing colours a lot and just want all the colours. Sometimes it's just not you in flow, in creative flow and stopping to mix the right green, especially if you don't know, you haven't learned 
or experience how to mix colors yet and it's a bit more complex than um, mixing, you know, mixing the three primaries. Sure, any red, any blue, any yellow, mix those, you're going to get your, uh, sorry, yeah, you're going to get your purples, your greens, your oranges, right? But what green? There are many greens, you see. Do you want an olive green? Do you want an emerald green? Do you want a sagey green? Do you want a lime green? And unless you know about colour mixing, that by the time you've mixed the lime green and worked that out, you've gone out of creative flow, out of whatever it was that you were doing, and you've, your brain has entered into a problem-solving initiative, and that's creative in its own way, but you've, you've stepped out of your initial flow, that creative flow, and you're going into a more critical thinking, logistics, probably a different part of the brain. Anyway, this just helps a little bit with that, and then you can ease into the joys of colour mixing. Even if, I see, I just love being able to reach for the colour that I need in that moment. So uh, now the other thing I will point out, if you're new to watercolour especially, you might not know that when a colour, sometimes a colour looks really dark in the pan, and these ones are dark colours, um, but sometimes when a colour looks very dark in the pan, it's not because it's a dark colour, it's because it's a translucent watercolour. This is very evident in this row here. It just looks like black squares almost. And they release into all of these purples and blues. But because it's translucent, it just has this dark effect in the pan. Then when you go to paint it, it's a glorious colour. Let's just do it. Let me show you. So this is... Oliver Twist, which is from the Colour Library, but you just wouldn't think that comes from that because that looks like a little identical black square. Um, let's release another one. Well, that is very dark, so that's not such a great example. I'm just looking for ones that really look at this. Okay, so this is the Odyssey. It just looks like a black square, doesn't it? But in reality, we're talking gorgeous phthalo turquoise deliciousness blue oh that puts me in such a good mood okay just a bit of color splashing around uh yes so having said that with this set because i want this to be a set that's open to everybody uh i tried to keep that effect to a little bit of a minimum so you can really see what the colour is. Now the swatch card's going to help you, of course. But when you're learning, you know, cross-referencing this to this to do, it's, or if you're in that full creative flow, you haven't got a lot much, much time to create, you just want to get into it, which I should do, get into it, Jane. Uh, this just al help, just allows you to do that. You know that what you're seeing here is pretty much what you're going to get on here. That's what we. That's what I was trying to achieve with this delight. Look at that. Mm. Let's do, of course, tickled pink. Now the tickled pink is so heavenly. You might not even like pink, but it's just such a high point color. I mean, that that's the one that stands out. But that's might might just be my brain. When we send you the Euphoria, well, Starks last, we actually send you an extra one of those as a little gifty poo because you're going to need it. You're just going to need it. You can put that in another set, or you can, but I think you'll need it, right? Let's put her there. And it's a different pink to the others. Sounds like a little fish having a swim over there, doesn't it? Oh, this blue is so divine as well. So this is Tickle Pink. Uh, this here is um, Inkceptional. <gasps> it's Inkceptional. And then the colours themselves that I've put in this set are colours that I think are going to be really useful for people and also are different to the colours that I have in my other... Uh, 
uh, other watercolors because I've got the three tin sets. That's what's in here. All my other watercolors are in here. Actually, that's not true, but it's nearly true. Uh, this is the three sets of um, the, you know, the tin, the glitzy, the neutrals, the cool brights. They're in here. All of the colour library I have poured into just some little pans. So they're all here, present and accounted for. And I said it's all of them, but it's not because there's also these two sets. <laughs> so with this, this is additional colours to all of these. Some of them are going to be very close, sure. But, um, I mean, how many hot pinks can a human being squeeze into their watercolours? I intend to find out. And then I intend to break that record. Uh, <laughs> I keep finding new hot pinks. Why not? Why not? I'm on a, on a crusade <laughs> for hot pink and turquoise. Why? I just, they make me happy. They make me happy when skies are grey. Well, they just make me happy in general. So we've just got a nice little thing happening. Uh, some of the questions that I've heard answered are, is it different formula to that? Yes, they are. They are. When you see the more opaque colours like this, with that very matte looking surface, they paint out the same. Um, uh, that's a different, it's got different things in it. Uh, like my welcome mat pigments are different like just everything has a little bit of a different thing and this has more of a glossy look it's just a slightly different look it's just different ways of handling different types of pigments but they're all watercolor and they're all rather divine i feel like i've gotten over excited and i'm fully um forgotten what i'm doing that I'm happy in my delusion and uh, <laughs> well seeing as we've got a little bit of colour nonsense going on let's just continue with it and I'll have a little look at questions um, Gorgeous, because we're, we're talking like 66 colours, this is a lot, and it's in a nice little compact environment. I've got other things, what was like big spinning wheels and this and that. Wonderful, how amazing. But do I use them? No, I use them once or twice. But it's just too big in my, for me to uh, incorporate into my daily creative life when I've got all of these other, if that was all I was using, sure. But I need, um, I need room on my table and I don't want it too cluttered. Uh, so being able to fit lots and lots of things is very nice because I need to be pulling all sorts of other things as I go. Okay, so I've just let that dry. So this is and blushed and just peachy. Because this is a pun, all the colours are na uh, all the colour names are, pun are puns, right? I thought of 66. <laughs> Colour puns, can you even, there were times where I thought this is impossible, it can't be done and then I managed to do it and I'm, I'm glad I did, I'm glad I did. So I'm just going to let that dry on that side. Oh. <sighs> Delicious. Uh, yes, yeah, so some colours are very vivid, very pigmented, and you can see those, they're popping right out. And then there are some colours that are very soft. These soft colours are very, very useful, especially when we're going into paint a face. So because we've got soft changes happening. When you're doing colour fields like this, we want bright, popping, bam, bam. But that is going to be more difficult, incorporating it into a face, those popping colours. We need both. We need it all. We need everything. I want it all. Right. Well, I can't put that there. I'm going to put that there. I need something to pop a little. Um, I'm going to draw it in hot pink. And let's uh, set the scene.
for 2024 and we've also got our ladder haven't we okay so we're going to here she is here she is on her ladder to happiness I had visions of myself climbing up the inside of the pyramid just then the bent pyramid um, it's at quite an angle and I thought I might have to stay in there forever with the bats at one point because it was quite challenging <laughs> getting out of there uh, but I did live to tell the tale I'm just I'm sort of just thinking am I going to am I joining this page to this page I do want to do the social ladder let's just And then somehow this, this is where she, she's climbing into her colours, but this colour, I might continue with this incredible coloured background all along. And if you're climbing a ladder, what do you look like? If the ladder is here. Is this the ladder? Is this the ladder? This might be the ladder. Okay, so I'm drawing with neon pink, because why wouldn't you? And then this will dry waterproof. This won't shift. My lines won't shift. She's been to the hairdresser and had the hairs curled. Oops. Okay, I think this is the ladder of colour. So if that's the ladder of colour, what do you do? You're hanging on to it, right? You're hanging on. And you're at this arm's relaxed. And this just go over the two pages you can't really can you you can barely see this but it's um this is going to be a good color for the background even though it's neon pink you would think how how's neon pink going to settle in because the line is so fine um it will be good and because it's so fine i can do very very sketchy lines look how beautiful this is <gasps> okay so here she is this is the shoulder this is her hand in this one I should really I could should consult I could consult <sighs> an image so her feet will have to be on the ladder if this is her color ladder climbing her color ladder and this is a rung here coming up here so I can make more colors I don't have to just live with what's there but we can make it sort of straight can we I don't know Jane can you is that in your skill set, love? Apparently not. And this is, yeah, not the corporate ladder. She's climbing. Now, I've never uh, been on a corporate ladder, so... I'm climbing a colour ladder. I can't leave, I can't do text and not come back and decorate it. It's just physically impossible. So, there, I've at least done the first pass. It's very hard to see, but we're neon, okay? We are neon. So here she is. So now she's going to be hanging on. She's going to be hanging on to this. So that's going to be coming in front of her hand. The neon pink colour ladder. is going to be in front of her hand. How, how many rungs apart should we give it? This is the joy of art journaling. It doesn't really have to make sense. <laughs> I'm 
and she's swinging off it. She, she's very confident, like her legs are on here somewhere, dangle, dangle, attached, we don't know where. And she's, this is, she's just a happiness. See you. Don't worry about hands right now. Fingers will come later. Woohoo. <gasps> Guys, also yesterday, oh, I just went, I did, I just did me. I just did me. And uh, I, I went uh, shopping. And just in the shopping centre. And uh, I found some glasses. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I cannot wait to get them. I cannot wait. There were neon pink ones, la la, but I do have some neon pink ones. Anyway. But, oh my goodness. It's an optometrist I've never been to before. A bit of trust involved. Very finicky with my eyes. Okay, so I've got my scritchity scratchities in there. And, well, I mean, really, for it to be fully waterproof, the ink, that does have to be dry. But um, what about if she's got her colour ladder here? Add in a little bit more colour. I might give this another little... just gave that a, a mist. A woohoo means just misting it with water. I could have been a bit better with that description. So this is move, uh, move over or move over. Hello, pun. Uh, and a little bit of, let's do a bit of purple rain. If I want to build up the colour intensity, I can. Um, so I liken strongly pigmented colours, this is current mood, uh, fabulous, fabulous, but if you've ever had an eyeshadow or a blush makeup that's oh, like very pigmented and you weren't expecting it, it's quite, it can be a bit jarring and a bit hard to incorporate into whatever it is down in your face. And uh, if you're a professional makeup artist, going to create, you know, that's what you want. But uh, if you're just a normal everyday person, just trying to put a little bit of glam on to get through the day, have a bit of fun, look a bit gorge, we just you just don't often need the full blown uh, effect. You just want something a bit more. You know, easy. Oh, sorry, I'm half concentrating on this and I'm really into my painting the colours. So this is Carrot Strophic. It's probably the worst pun in the group, but, you know, that's a personal thing, group of these. It's a shocker. So is Blue Tea Pageant. Deja Blue. <laughs> what you're saying? What you're like, say I am the colour. What you're saying? I, I look, I, puns are meant to make, like dad jokes, they're meant to make you wince just a little bit, okay? That, that's the, a really good pun, <laughs> or bad pun. It makes you wince just a little bit, like, oof, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Anyway, I, I think I achieved the wincing. <laughs> This is sea party, like a tea party, but it's a sea party because, you know, sea green. Absolutely delicious. Let's get a little bit of that in there. So what I'm trying to say is there's a combination of softer colours and pigmented fancies. So you've got usually the, um, see how some, these have got water on them. Some are shinier than others. They're usually this vibrant and then these, obviously, they look matte. They're softer. Um, so, 
so you know and you can always if some if say if you put something down that was a bit too woo you've got your white and your cream of the crop to just tone things down a little if you want to you don't have to it's just if you want to we can add a little bit of Oh, yeah, especially as this is drying. I show the different effect of cream of the crop, which is a softer white. Of course, you can mix this, but it's already here and you don't use all your white. You can keep your white white, right? It's a very nice uh, white, this one. Just add a little bit of detail. So that's not going to hold the detail if this is still wet because they're going to... So this, they'll be soft little splodges, they'll soften out. But if it's dry, paint on the dry. This is what I mean by learning about watercolour. It is the most magic of mediums, it really is just a delight, a joy. But there is that little learning curve because it, do, it can do so much. It can do so much. Now I have not changed my brush once yet, what are we using? The 10 uh, in the... Um, onto a set. I don't have the little packet but this is the one that actually collapses down. But uh, I just like them, I just leave them made up like that, why wouldn't you? Um, <laughs> I'm just having a quick look at colours. What pen is that? Now this is the importance of a space between pen and is. <laughs> okay, what pen is that? This is the Dr. Ink. So I've put my, you can put any ink you like in it, any fountain pen friendly ink. You can put inks with glimmer in them, but the glimmer won't come out. It can't, it's just, this is fine. This has got some fine little business. In fact, the foam won't even let the, the, uh, the glitter uh, enter. But what I did do was I did make a Dr. Ink with because this colour ink is heaven. Now, where is it? I know that I don't have it here. I know I have it upstairs. I might make another one. Um, this is the Star Power ink. Now, I know that this glimmer is just not going to get through the pen, but that doesn't stop me from uh, using the ink itself and putting that in because this colour is just heaven. Uh, so I might make up another one, actually, because... I think I need a bit more Marilyn Monroe pink. <laughs> and see how this pink is still different from that pink? This is slightly warmer than that. That's a very cool pink. Okay, I think I've um, bumbled around long enough. So I can go straight in with my watercolour here, but why don't we? This will also give it a bit more of an opportunity to dry so I can hold detail. Let's use more of the Dr. Inks. Now this has, um, these have all of the new, there's three new tattoo inks. There's nine, ten, eleven, there's twelve tattoo inks in total, plus the three new ones. Is that right? Yes, I think so. So the new, three new ones are Yo-Ho-Ho. -Ho. Uh, oh no, that's one you don't know about yet. All right, so Yoho -Ho is like a dark pink wine colour almost. Uh, in the navy is a navy blue. And uh, Shiver Me Timbers is a beautiful umber sepia brown in between those two. And then what i you can mix the colours. So I've got, oh, I might leave Kitsune out with some pigment of imagination. Oh, I've got the black out as well. Why did I put any away? because you don't know about those colours yet. Okay. And this is Yo-Ho-Ho -Ho and Shiver Me Timbers. So it's Shiver Yo-Ho-Ho. -Ho. Okay. Ooh, that sounds very exciting. Shiver Yo-Ho-Ho. -Ho. Woo. But this is going to be a lovely berry brown colour. And, oh, it's so fine. She's so fine. Now, of course, I'm putting my hand straight into my colour ladder. I'll work out how to make, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do it right now. I don't know if this will work. Let's just see if it does. Uh, what have I got here? Here's my Dame Judy. Oh, oh, oh. No. Beep, beep. 
excuse me. Right, this is the um, sponge sofa, and all the little sofas can, all the little sponges can sit here. But it's also, oh, it's also an egg thing. <laughs> but it's in my turquoise. Hello, my beautiful blue. This is a radically useful little number. Oh, I'm dying. Why do colours just make me so happy? Oh my gosh, that is making me happy. I have to take a photo of it. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Oh, that, the turquoise and the pink together. It just, it's deliciousness. She was working it for the camera. Okay. I don't want much water in my brush. I'm going to make this my ladder. Why wouldn't you have a neon pink ladder? Why wouldn't you? Imagine how many ladders they would sell if they were neon pink. Well, at least one to me. <laughs> What about if she's wearing neon pink or should I put just colour on her? I'm not sure. Oh, yum. Okay, I'm going to make the, the capital letters. I'm going to put this pink in there now. Climbing the colour ladder and then I'll add other colours in there. I was going to say later but that, I want them to run together so I'm going to just grab this and see what happens. Oh, it makes the most beautiful purple. Oh, oh my goodness, that is a very nice effect. Okay, so a bit more of the uh, absolutely tealicious. Oh, the little neon edges are so nice. Oh, let that go in there, mix and mingle. See, these didn't mingle enough, I need to. Look at those. Just add a bit more water so they mingle a bit more. Colour ladder. Okay. Whatever that is, we don't know what a colour ladder is. We're inventing it as we go. No corporate ladders, just colour ladders. Oh, I've got no. Right. Have I, have I sufficiently faffed about enough yet? <gasps> Why did I wash out all that blue? Oh, I could have used it there. I'm just trying to sort of do what I did there. Put that over here as well. Oh, 
Oh, I've got a bit of honey bun, go bananas. Hey you. Yeah, because it's hey yellow. Hey you. <laughs> yellow. Over here. Let's turn that into a green. A little bit of sugar high. And let's get this uh, Violet Femme and so popular, you know, great pulp. <laughs> um, purple Rain, Move Over, Love Blooms. And then I'll, I'll let that dry off and then I'll tighten that up as well. ready yet I'm not ready to start drawing it so I just keep playing around with this so uh, this is pinky promise so this has got a bit of opacity to it and I'll also use am blush I might just mix this this is very cool this is uh, much warmer for cheeks so I might put a little bit I'll turn her face just a little bit I think it looks like that she wants to turn it I'm going to get the warmer pink at the sides of the cheek and bring that up over the where the eyes are going to sit and for lip color feeling cherished which is next to carrot strophic i'm going to come in here oh there's a bit too much water it'll take a little while to dry but we'll just see what happens this is in a jam i'm going to add a bit of this over as well I might go in with a little bit of current mood and there's a color up here maroon so it's this one here um I've got my little reference sheet here so I'm just looking at that because you know it's a lot of colors but you, you this is why it's important for you to be able to see what it is but if I need to tell you the name that's a different thing I can't remember everything okay now that's a bit dark so to make that lighter just add a bit more water to it and just um, start with my brush again just so that's a bit lighter that's okay if that's dark under the nose just for the start and then I'm going to build the nose up come into that curve that sort of hook eye nose hook there and I've got this the pink of her cheeks this curve of her uh, I'm not going to need that ear you wouldn't see that ear at this angle and just pop a little bit of this shadow color next to the face and we're starting with that right now this is um uh, where's my shiver me ho yo ho where's my shiver me yo ho here she goes shiver you yo ho so this is a bruisey sort of purple I liken it to the one that I got in when I was, I was playing with colours in Japan at the ink shop. And it's a, I like a bruisey red in the family of jellyfish. Remember the jellyfish mermaid marker? That's a bit more purple, so just scratch scratch. And I might even go in there with this where it's wet and it's not going to affect this it might make it draw very light for a second so i'm just going to come over here and just get it back to its strength because you've diluted it you've added water to it so um that's a little bit of a dark horse there that's And I might start playing with getting this little face how I want it. Oh, I've put my hand in the ink. Oops. 
All right, we'll just do that. I'll just steal a bit of that, actually. See how that neon pink really, remember how bright that looked? Still looks pretty bright, but not as bright as it uh, did. Now, I've got the proportions of this arm all wrong. I can see that. But I don't think it matters. Now, I'm going to have to put my hand somewhere. I can't make them invisible, so I'm going to have to do this. And that's all right. I'll just take a little bit of that, just the really wet ink off, just where I need to be able to physically draw. Do you hover? I have to lean on. I think I lean on the paper. Oh, look, I've got it everywhere. I bet some artists are really organised and know exactly what they're going to do. It's just not me. Or maybe, you know, you just, you do your first version crazy like this and then you do another version where it's all perfect and life is but a dream. But I don't want to do another version. I just want to do one version of each thing and move on. Because this is for me. Oh, I can hear that beautiful rain. She's happy. I'm happy. <gasps> Love that soft shadow and then putting a little bit of harder line under it just to really cinch it up. Now, I, these little proportions are a bit odd, but we'll... We can move. Oh, actually, if I build her shoulder up here, we can get that to be a bit more in proportion. I'm just about to, I've made a commitment to myself to do my life drawing this year, go to my life drawing classes uh, and get back into that because it's so good. I, I do enjoy it. And, uh, I think I'm living vicariously here with the curly hair. Uh, my little niece has amazing ringlety hair and it's just, I love it so much. That's the opposite of my hair experience. So I think this is the, this colourful hair in my artwork. I'm living vicariously. <laughs> I'm living all my hair dreams. Now that is a bit wet. Will this work yet? Yep. So this is Fluffy White Clouds, this pencil. Um, and, hey Nicole, how are you going? Um, oh, this color, yes. Who said that? This color's perfect for the facial, uh, yes. And Karen asked, oh, Karusu the Dreamer, what a beautiful YouTube name. Um, how much, oh, shipping to the US, it's actually pretty good and it takes about, it can be between 7 to 14 days. Sometimes it's very, just depends how lucky you are with the transfers with all the boxes as they go off. But we send out every day. The shipping will depend on your, what you order. I don't know what it is just for these. Um, and if you order enough, it's free shipping. So what a lot of seasoned Javan peeps do is they fill their cart up and as soon as it hits that threshold, which I don't know what that is in a US dollars at the moment, uh, I'll do a little calculation. I'll ask Google. Um, I think it's $300 Australian, $300 AUD in USD because the Australian dollar is not very strong at the moment. So it's a $200 um, and Believe me, there's so many lovely things in the 
site um, that you can pick from. Uh, like this and some brushes, maybe a little bit of watercolour gesso journal, doctor ink pens, yum, yum, yum. And that's, you're going to have, that's tons of options to do all sorts of art and keep your juice there. And it's free shipping. Like we, we pay for the shipping for you. And what I started to say about the fluffy white clouds is that if you, these are free. You just have to add it in on the proviso that you know that you can't sharpen them. Don't even put it in a sharpener, I've told you. Don't do it. You'll just junk up your sharpener. Uh, they're so, you can see how soft it is, how pigmented is a funny use to word, word, use with white because it's got no pigment, but a white pigment is there, right? Um, it's so soft, but it's so soft you can't sharpen it. You have to sharpen it with a blade. But it's 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 faulty really. So, in the but it's still glorious. Too faulty for us to. I'm not comfortable. Uh, people paying for it, but I use it all the time. So if you would like one, you can just add it to your order, and it's free. So you just uh, just so you, just so you know that it's it's not perfect, but it's gorgeous nonetheless. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, the, the other thing, I wrote about it on Instagram a little bit this morning. The other thing is, if, if for this, if I had this in America, so if this was in Michael's or whatever, for a start, it could never. It would have a third of the colours, just because of the pricing and the way everything works. Um, it would just be an impossibility. I would have a third of the colours or it would be three times more expensive. Um, even just to have in just any store, any distribution. This is why we don't do it. Um, I have everything created, well, I design it, created it, um, and then we send out directly so I don't have agents, distribution, distribution shops, blah, blah, blah. It's wonderful that all those, I'm not saying that that's wrong to be any of those things or earn the money that way, but these products just would never happen. Like, it just... A skull bottle people just would never in stores they just they wouldn't some stores would they're progressive and they understand that it's the Jolly Roger uh, but just yeah it's just the way that we're doing things is the way for us and yeah it's, it's if you've never ordered anything from overseas, you can let this be the first nice experience for you. We send most of our things go overseas. Overseas, international. Now, what's that white there? What, what did I use there? What happened? I can't remember and I love it and I need to remember. Was that just washed out current mood? I'll have to watch the video back. Oh, I haven't recorded it. Great. I should have recorded this. And what am I going to do with the recording? Edit it into a video? It's just such a nice washed out bruisey purple. And the little delicate lines over it for a little bit of cross arching. Ooh. If I want something a bit more um, uh, a bit more gutsy, then I'll get out my fountain pens. The only thing that's this fine is the glass dip pen and that works differently because you're dipping, dipping, dipping. It's a different experience. We need all the experiences but this is just how I'm feeling at this moment in time. And it is uh, flooding me with happiness. Can you hear the rain outside? Whoa. Going for it, right, yo. 
So we've got uh, we've got strange. Uh, <laughs> Got some strange, what's the word? Her body's, yeah, it's all out of proportion. That was the word I was looking for. Sorry, I'm concentrating on too many things. I'm having too much fun. Uh, this, I'm going to use a little bit of soil tycoon. I'm going to start introducing some oranges, I think, into her hair. What do you reckon? Orange, you glad? Because if this might all be too much, mm, I might put a bit of feeling cherished in here as well. And caught red handed. Oh no, that's too bright. Let's do this one. Yes. So I'm using this exactly as I intended um, by colour, you know, rather than. I can mix the colours, sure. And you've seen me do that. But. Uh, I don't know, there's just something to be said for just jumping in. Uh, because the worst thing it would be is if people gave up thinking that it was them and that they could, that watercolour wasn't for them. I, it's just catastrophic. Catastrophic. So I'm just washing over and my little hot pink and Yo ho ho lines are. I think this is the year of colour and the Harlequin this year. She's another colour Harlequin. Oh, I like her. I love your hair, darling. Mm. Now she needs a bit more ooh la la, like George, don't you think, in the um, eyes. And I've got my gold pebble pigment there. Green eyes. Turquoise, yeah. The yellow is quite nice. I might go for purple first. I wonder, I might do one purple, one turquoise. We might David Bowie this. I'm going to use this more opaque blue. a little bit of that in there and hmm, skin in the game a bit of skin in the game just a little bit of depth here in the eye that is such a nice colour. Okay, so I'm going to get skin in the game again and just really add a bit of water. But there's also buffoonery, which is this has got a little bit of... Um, oh, I might try... No, no, this is good. Yes, just testing the colour over there. Um, just want to add some shape to the face and this is the joy of watercolour. You can add the colour on, take it off, add it on, take it off. And this is where you learn about the way you like to work with watercolour because there's all sorts of different things and techniques. It's a very, very forgiving medium. Once you've got a little, you've got that little learning curve um, having happened. And you've built your confidence up a little. And just let that be soft. I'll have to use up my look at that ink in that blue. Mm. The little sponge sofa. So yeah, so you can use that with water with inks. I might leave it out actually. Because I've got it tucked back there, I tend to forget to use it. And really this is just so good. I might put a pebble pigment in there to remind me. I'm going to um, dissolve one up now. I might get this real, I'm going to mix up a gold. I'm going to get that real yellow. Oh, I might put it at this end. That real yellow gold and then a goldy gold. I'm going to, put a, I'm going to mix all the golds. I've got to put a pinky gold. Yep. 
Why not? I wonder what colour that will make. Yeah, we can, we'll find out. And then uh, a little bit of the gum arabic. I could do water, but gum arabic is going to be better because it'll help the glimmer to stick to the paper. That's what this does. Turns it into a watercolour. So gum arabic, this is what's in the gum kind of binder, the gum arabic medium. Um, this is an important ingredient. Oh, I've got colour blending and mixing going on in there. I might go for, I've got in the navy, I might go in the navy. Just quickly, um, Soil Tycoon, thanks Nicole, she says she loves that. Isn't that funny? I think I, when I came up with some of these, I was just, I just thought I was so clever. Unbelievable, that's what I thought I was. Just being able to mix two of my favourite things, a pun. <laughs> um, I think it's from my time in London and, you know, I'd be walking to work and the f newspapers would have the most terrible, hilarious puns for their covers. They were sort of famous for it, the tabloids, and I'd go past, you know, the newsstand and just loved looking at the, the puns of the day. And I just thought, wow, that's just that's someone's job coming up with those. <laughs> and then here I am naming colours myself. So this is in the Navy. This is the waterproof tattoo ink. Oh, I can show you them. I forgot. I have them right here. Look. Look at this gorgeous girl. She's been on a bit of a diet. She's a bit thin. Um, that's in the navy. That beautiful blue. And this is Shiver Me Timbers. It's, I think my obsession with pirates is, it's to do with mermaids. To me, pirates and mermaids kind of go together. Uh, and this is Skull, which as you can imagine, is white. This is a little bit different to uh, the normal tattoo ink. It's a thing of its own. You can't put it in a fountain pen or the doctor inks. Uh, it's a white acrylic. Let's use some actually. Why not? Now, because this will set, I'm not sure how long it will take, actually. It's been a fun experiment. So I'm going to leave these and see how long it takes them to, to set because they're not acrylic, technically. They're something else. So let's just see. Um... But I might change down a brush or two um, and I'm going to change my brush actually. I'm going to change down into one of my brush ballets. This is just the fibre of this brush is just a little bit, you, I can, you can't feel the bounce. I don't have bounce of vision, uh, but it's like boom, boom, boom. This one here, these are soft. And then the these are even a little bit softer. They've got a little bit of bounce, but watercolour likes a softer brush. You can ho holds more water, holds more pigment, you don't have to stop. Acrylic is a bit different, right? So that's why I've got the different types of brushes. It likes it needs to be pushed around a bit more. It's just it's a thicker medium. But this is an ink, so I could use any brush, doesn't matter. But I want to be very precise, and this is a stiffer brush, so I'm, I've, that's why I'm using this. I think it's helpful if I tell you why I'm using things. And to be honest, sometimes it takes me a little bit of time to get to the point because I'm exploring the answer as I'm talking to you. <laughs> because I don't know why. Sometimes it's just a atavistic decision 
I'm suddenly reaching for this or that and then I'm trying to unpack in my mind why why did I what was the reason that I grabbed for that because that can be helpful uh, for people but it's something I have to unpack so I just sometimes I need a minute wow. so now look how soft the little white the fluffy white cloud pastel pencil looked and this is getting a bit crispier and if I if I, I can step it up again to an even more opaque white with the white uh, paint pens or white gesso I think the white paint pens are even more opaque um, oh see that was a bit wet in there so that's that highlight has softened out so I put on I need to add another one but see that might be that's too hard as a highlight the paint the pastel is going to be nicer here and on here so it's a bit softer just light gently catching rather than bam this can have a more a bright bit of light hitting it it makes the lips look glossier if i used a softer white or even the cream so the um cream of the crop here as my highlight color it will make it even look more natural and more soft this when you're using white on a highlight on, as a highlight on the lip it says look the lips got lip gloss on it or the person just wet their lips you know which is probably what lip gloss is trying to emulate look at how all this is all drying off all lovely 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 I guess they need a bit more. Ooh la la, should we give her hot neon pink tear ducts? Why not? I'm going to give her a bit of neon pink lipstick. Why not? Why not? If you're going to climb a colour ladder, Why wouldn't you? Uh, oh, and this is immediately making me want to have the softer brush as I go into those more softer effects. Oh, it's just, it's sort of like gently um, pulling the colour up, whereas this, the different brush pushes the colour up. So change, change, change. I'm tickling the colour up with the softer watercolour brush. But see, you need both. Not there's not one wrong, one right. It's just different, different things as you go. Oh yes, yeah, so I can make that look a bit more like a ladder. Oh yeah, with the rungs attaching. Okay, and I'll go in with a bit uh, something a bit darker even. I'll try and shiver me timbers. I don't want it to get too dark. Okay, well, I think that will be quite good, actually. Will this be too dark? Okay. use a ruler and try and make it straight shall I do that I might why not if I plop that down on her face and made it all a mess no it's all good uh, I'll do shiver me timbers first I think that's straight straightish yeah okay I'm gonna very soft little line and then I'll get a little parallel one back here somewhere oops that'll mess up that little perspective a bit 
so the way I'll fix that is with a bit of uh, paint pen. This isn't the right one, but it'll do for now. Oh, I've got to do these rungs. And when you're painting with this, with the tattooing, you do have a, just a second or two before it dries to soften it a little bit if you don't want to make it a bit more of a watercolour effect but then once it's dry that's it I'm, I'm afraid done so that was brush with fame and that was talent scout and I might come in with a bit of an even lighter pink on top of that this is celebrity Right. Well, you know, we're getting there, aren't we? Now, where is my black? So this has got the original black tattoo ink in it. I should really wait for things to be a bit more dry. And I can just give a little... little definition oh not with that <laughs> okay Oh, she's concentrating now. She's wanting to talk to you. Sorry about that. Oh, I love it. Okay. Well, we're getting there. When I look on the screen, the perspective is even weirder than it looks in real life. So I just need to check. Where's my little doodah? My doodah doodah day. Oh, there she is. I'm just, I've got this little level thing. Mm. Oh no, that's okay. Mm. Okay, no, it's all good. I'm just trying to make sure everything's good for you. Right, well. <sighs> right. Um, oh, and Piggy Tats is here as well. How are you going? Happy birthday to Annie. Nicole is here, Fer Forrick. <laughs> as well. Oh, good. Annie's putting it all together, having a hard time to get on what to get. Do you know, it doesn't matter, Annie. Whatever, just get whatever you think just is going to give you the joy because you can always add things later. And honestly, if you're like a lot of us, you'll just end up with everything anyway. So it, doesn't, it just doesn't matter what order you're getting it, really. <laughs> oh, so I've let that just start to melt. Shall we get it, let it get a wriggle on? I'm going to poke it with a stick. A little skewer. I just I want that um, gum Arabic to m melt these little pigment pebbles 
and to make a, an amazing new gold. So we're just going to let that melt. I might add another little drop, you know. Give it another little wet the whistle. Doesn't really matter if you add a bit too much either. Not enough and it just won't. It'll just take longer, that's all. A bit more and it'll just start to happen a bit quicker. It's important for me here with you that at home you just let it let, let it do its thing. You can always add a little bit by bit little bit. But this is just going to get it rocking and rolling. Oh yummo the diddle I Don't want I actually don't mind if it's the colour isn't evenly distributed too, but it's just going to uh, melt down into a quagmire of beauty. A quagmire of beauty. I might put a bit of gold rather than wash my little skewer out. Just pop that on the, the colour corporate ladder. Right, which brush? I'm going to use a fine little number. I might use my little. Uh, this is from the On Point set, the Brush Ballet. This is a two. This is a little fine one. And so I'm grabbing my gold there. But don't forget, I've also got a little bit of, I've got some gold on here too. And the pebble pigments, just in case you're brand new and you've never seen them, look at them. Because I just think they're the cutest things on the planet. These ones are all empty. Oh, well, why don't I? I sort of have this as my satellite dish. So I might, might need to replenish my, some of these. So let's put them in there, okay. Uh, but they come in these lovely little boxes. This is Flower Bomb. This is Glamoroon. Oh, that's where that sticker went. Okay, I was looking for that earlier. Uh, this is Heavy Petal. They come with a spare set of stickers. That's what I've got here. They also come with these little set of shells so that you can make little watercolour pans out of them like so. And they've got all of these gorgeous. There's five different colours in each set. And... Uh, they're all very glamorous. Well, that one's empty now. I might as well put that one in there. How cute even is the bottle? Well, that one's near empty, so. Oh, I can use these for something else. Well, I might as well pop them in there too. Okay. I've used up a whole set now. We're not really because I haven't used these yet, but there's the, I've got this ones here. And they even come with some um, packing inside just to make sure they get you nicely so that... Uh, and you can reuse that. And then you've got a little instruction sheet on how to do this. It's very easy. And this is the first three colours. And then, as you can see, there's a little preview for some other little specialties that might be happening later in the year. Excuse me. Pop them back over there. So that's those little beauties. And you can just drop them into ink, any of our inks, and mix, make your own sparkling ink or make your own sparkling spray or whatever you want. But that's what I've got on here as well. Oh my gosh, I get so easily distracted by beautiful things. And then I'm um, just adding a little bit of gold to the windows of the soul. Maybe a little on the lips too, why not? In the corner of the eye there, maybe a little fleck in the eye. Mm. Bit of gold in the hair too, don't you think? Might get my new little... Oh yes, that's what I'll do. I'll use that as the break between this reality and that reality. Okay, the hair and the 
this in the background. Right here, and then that will connect there, that'll connect there. <gasps> this is going to make sense. What? And I think she should have gold hands. I don't know why, but if you're colouring, if you're climbing a colour ladder, you really, you should have gold hands. Liquid gold hands. And the hands are a bit big. We're not uh, in proportion here, I don't think, but um, I don't really care. Just like she's dipped her hands in gold. Midas touch. I'm going to shape that like that. I just have this philosophy. I just have to get it to the point that it doesn't annoy me. And even though this isn't in proportion, I just have to get to a point where it doesn't bother me. And then I can just live with it being out of proportion because it's not bothering me. It's just, it is what it is. And we put the white pen to bed uh, clean because we are very good and virtuous with our pens <laughs> so that you know when I go to use it again it's in good condition so I was talking about building up to that varietal white well that's what this this is going to give me my my brightest white and of course I can build this up too until it's pure white or whatever I want. I don't know what all of this means. I think it means something. The uh, meaning will appear in time. It doesn't have to appear right now. When I was a kid, I had Disco Barbie. And I've been obsessed with that type of just huge ringlety hair. Like Ashley, I um, can't remember a second name, on Real Housewives of Potomac like her hair is so thick and ringlety it's just ugh, sculptural sculptural and it's like I said the opposite of my hair so hair that you could almost like like a topiary like you can shape it into a shape with volume it just seems like magic hair to me Oh, no, that's going to be... This is my trashed one. Look at the poor little tip on her. But this is going to give me a very painterly application of the paint, which I want. I just want it. I just needed to make sure it wasn't... It's just stained. It's not got... To, I'm going to put down other colours. Do you know what I'm going to think? I might, I'm going to leave her there and... Um, am I? I think so, yes. One try. And we'll just thank you for joining me. If you've got any other little questions, please. Now's the time. If you haven't subscribed, please do so you get your notifications. And uh, because sometimes I don't know when I'm going to do a live, especially now that... Um, Am I alive? No, live. <laughs> Especially now that we're back to sort of, you know, the real world. Christmas is over, New Year's is over, that sort of lovely in between times. And, uh, you know, we've all got stuff to do, but I can let you know when, when we're 
Something's about to happen. Or you can just watch the replay, so. Hmm. Then I'll have to do, I'll have to work this out next. Arm is so short. It is what it is. I'm sorry, but you've got a short arm and there's just that's just the way it is. I suppose I could do this and this, but I don't want to. Fresh eyes will I'll work it out. In the meantime I'll just do I'll just put the watercolours over it like that. So just the hand pops out and the Perfection. I've got my gold cooking. I've got my experiment happening here. I'm going to have a little sneaky peek through the questions. Um, bow earrings would be cute. Oh, yes. Let's do bow earrings. Why not? I was thinking of David Bowie after all. It's been very in fashion. Can't wait for that to settle into a watercolour. It's going to be gorgeous. Okay. Um, oh, yes, we can add some jewellery. We can do all sorts of lovely things. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. Just having a look, I'm sort of scrolling through. Oh, Nicole says the most thrilling art supplies. Exactly. I mean, if you, art supplies are thrilling. They really are. Well, they thrill me. So I wanted to make them as thrilling yet usable <laughs> as possible. Uh, Nicole says she's obsessed with mermaids. Well, same. Apparently mermaids are in fashion again. I've, I always think they are. I don't know about fashion. Like I'm, I don't say, I wouldn't say incorporate mermaid into my fashion, but it's called mermaid core. Mermaid core. Mm. So there you go. Oh, happy birthday to your son, turning eight. Big boy. Powdered gum Arabic would definitely work. You can just mix it up. Just mix it up into the liquid and use it like that for sure that's what i used to use until i started using mine just this is just easier um, but you can use the powder one mix it up it doesn't keep for very long so only mix up a little as much as you think you're going to need and then you can store it in the fridge for a bit but then um having said that though that is just what i've read i've got to say when i had the my gum arabic mixture that I'm excited at sitting down here for months. But maybe that's for making like professional watercolours or something. Um, you can do your own experiments. <laughs> but yes, um, the thing with gum Arabic, it's, it's very inert, like it's got no, as far as I'm aware, no toxic outcomes for anyone. It's in food, it's used in food to add gloss to food. It's um, used, it has health benefits. Apparently, I haven't eaten it. I haven't. Uh, I, I think it does have health benefits in terms of it, it makes watercolor. And that makes you happy. That's a health benefit. Um, but it's just a wonderful thing. It's a natural product. Uh, it all comes mainly from Africa, sub-Saharan Africa. The plants help with desertification if they're planted. It helps the desert stop growing. It's quite labor intensive harvesting it um, because the tree. Oh, I might be, I think the tree has to be, you know, damaged, cut, like the mastic trees for the gum in Greece, for the, for the, the chewing, the natural chewing gum. The, the gum is um, an injury coming out after an injury from the tree. So, I, you know, someone has to go and do that first, not hurt the tree, just create that response and then 
they come and um, remove that gum. But that would all be very labour intensive. Uh, so anyway, it's um, it's been around gum arabic, and the properties of it have been around for a long time. Oh, so I'm just having a quick look. Uh, oh, Annie's been using her things in class. <laughs> it's just when I think of you in a proper, like proper college art class, if you're coming out with euphoria and I don't know what, your doctor ink pens and your joyful gesso and <laughs> oh, imagine if you came out with this and this, would people be like, what is going on? Art supplies meant to be serious. Very, very serious. No. Well, they can be. Not for me. Well, they don't make me feel serious. You don't have to, your artwork doesn't have to be serious to be meaningful and, um, and depressing and dark. Uh, it doesn't have to be. Uh, that's a choice. Um, and your art supplies don't have to be serious to create serious artwork or artwork that's seriously meaningful to you. Um, it's all... Art is the most individual thing. It's what makes, part of what makes us human and individuals. La di da. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm looking for questions just to see if there's something there. So many lovely comments. Thank you so much. Uh, for all the beautiful comments I'm just and talking to each other and um, the pebble pigs Nicole you're cracking me up okay yes the pebble pig mints okay my friends well I can't see any questions right there um, it's oh that's it's the free shipping is 320 Australian dollars so that's 200 US dollars yeah um, and unfortunately postage prices keep going up so every so often we have to lift that ceiling but we really try and keep it so that it's reasonable because who wants to pay for shipping nobody but unfortunately you are even if something says free shipping it's not it's not for it's, it's it's incorporated into the price you know like with Amazon and all of that of course it is otherwise people go broke the say companies run out of business it has to be incorporated in there but I can say that with our free shipping offer, um, that's why it's got that higher minimum. It's, that is where we can say, okay, thank you for ordering. You're putting in a big order for us. It's easier and quicker for us to put it all together all at once and send it off to you and we, we send it off to you. We pay for that. Um, and it really is a, a discount. We don't have sales. We've got bundles. We might have a special offer. We do free gifts. You know, I try and do whatever I can, but, um, you know, we've, I, again, the sales, all of that stuff, anyone that's been in retail, you know how it is. Those, those things are, if someone's going into a genuine sale, it's not a good sign. It means they've, des you know, there's a desperation thing happening. Um, that's not good. Um, so we try, we just don't do that. Um, we, we, you know, we, we, we price things fairly as they are. They go direct to you from us. And, uh, well, you can see the gorgeousness. Uh, and if it appeals to you, it does. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. But, you know, how could it not? And you can paint, if you're not a pink person, you can paint over that. Not a problem. <laughs> I'm a pink person. And a turquoise person, and a purple person, and an orange person, and a yellow person. All the colours, thank you. This is another journal. This is a painted cover. And this is the aquaculture. This is a different paper that's in this one. This is a thicker paper. It's a mixed media paper. It's a little bit more absorbent, which means... It can take uh, just a lot of water and a lot of what you throw at it and paint and all of that. Robust. Uh, yes. 
Oh, I think, have I finished this girl? This is the one that I was really trying to finish and I'm, I'm just going to call her done for now. Um, oh, I love, sometimes I can't believe how much art I do. It's just, it's a lot. It's crazy. Oh, every dream's out of the dream. It's so true. Art foamies. This is just one of the journals from last year. I think I started it last year, yes. What's that one? Oh, wait, be generous with your kindness. Got a bit of pebble pigment in there. Good energy is contagious. Oh, that's the mirror, mirror pen. Look at that. That is shiny. Ah, pigments of imagination, soft, gentle. And see, some days you need that, just a bit of soft, gentle, wafting colour. On some days you need... Sometimes you need a combination. <laughs> Spilling a laugh she didn't need a holiday from. Yes. Sometimes she's a bit more intricate. Sometimes she's very loose. She's radically herself either way. What a fun year it's been last year. Oh, the, this is the new colours. Yo-ho-ho -ho in the navy and shiver me timbers. Celebrate your superpower. I must have written that the day after I finished doing all the names for the <laughs> watercolours. Oh, it's popcorn and I. I've got my false eyelashes on. My hair is gold and down to the floor. Obviously real. Oh, trying to paint out all the lay cake colours. And I miscalculated uh, the number. I didn't even get to the greens. <laughs> Idiots. Just numbers up, I think. 44, 66, whatever. <laughs> oh. Cindy saying, which colour of te tattoo ink should I put in my technical pen? Do you have all of them, Cindy? You could mix a colour. Do neon pink. Neon pink. Neon. Or do a brown. Do treasure map or... If you've got the new ones, do uh, Shiver Me Timbers. Um, I've got to say, though, that mix, the Shiver Me Yo-Ho-Ho, -ho, bit of a mixture of Shiver Me Timbers and Yo-Ho-Ho, -ho, oh, that is a nice little bruisy purple, great little undertone colour. We love that for her. And this, oh, I thought that was going to be Shiver Me Yo-Ho's, but it was actually black. That's all right. And, oh, this is Kitsune. This is another favourite. If you've got the uh, pigments of imagination. It's just so amazing how every different instrument has a totally different look because the way your hand holds it, it's different. The way it interacts with the paper is different. Every single thing is going to give you a different feeling and that affects how you draw because it's not lines on the paper it's feelings on the paper because it's not just and that's a physical feeling like this physical feeling of you know touch but also it's that emotive type of feeling too um a drawing's just an elemental thing and i was just watching a video about um ancient drawings and more and more have just turned up uh, from earlier man and it's so fascinating it's just one of the things that we've liked to do forever it's one of the things that have has lasted like in caves and people leaving messages for each other storytelling um transcribing knowledge you know when do certain animals you know, you can imagine man back in the day, um, when do certain animals run? When do you get prepared? You know, young, older people teaching younger people or that sort of thing. You know, and drawing is the way we can experience and explain things. Because a picture tells a thousand, what's the saying? Picture's worth a thousand words. And that's what we're doing, no matter whether you're drawing actual subjects or if it's more abstract, whatever. It's a it's tapping into something that's 
happening inside of you and the different art supply taps into it and it lets you express it in a different way. So for instance, these, these were just blobs of colour. Um, this was Welcome Matte, I think. Just playing around with it, like in tests and stuff, just playing around with it. This is a pigment powder that you mix up with the gum Arabic that I showed you earlier. And you can make these at opaque watercolours. Oh, we might use them next time. Um, gorgeous. Colours are just gorgeous. This is Welcome Matte. And it's very easy to work on top of with your other media. And then I've put them in the little fantastic palettes with the scales because mermaid. And <laughs> it's and then I've used pencil over the top. And now I'm using the, the Dr. Ink, which has got like a felt tip, a hard felt tip. And it just these just create different marks to the pencil. So it all just adds in little graphic elements um so this is very very small detail but it will all go towards something and there's also a lot to be said for how much you enjoy something as you're doing it like that's very important because you know we only live once and well in this sort of experience and you, why not enjoy all of it you know like I said, I just don't want to be annoyed. <laughs> I can get through my day without feeling annoyed. Oh, joyful. <laughs> Here's a little highlight. I'm going to pop it in with this. With my trashed brush with fame. Let's get a little perfect one. No. There we go. Actually... You know, like we'll do the do the do. The little swan. There's that little fine nib like that. That weird nib, you can see what your artwork is doing. It's quite cool. Okay. <laughs> yes the different tools we love it okay my friends well what did cindy decide hot pink good one love okay the fun of watercolor this was last year's journal where do we get up to see and then i've added i went through and added journal tattoos to the different pages from the different sets that i've got and you know, everything's available at janedavenport.com. And uh, we send all over the world, every day. This is the moth uh, fairy dust pigments. Oh, this was a pigment that hasn't made it into the uh, collection because it is too intense. It's just too hard to use. And mix up into a watercolour and so forth. It was fun though, but not everything that I, um, you know, play with and try out ends up going anywhere with, which, which you know, I have very high expectations and I only use my art supplies. I already say this, I only use my art supplies, so I, I and I, I, I can't be using something that I don't 100% agree with. It doesn't, you know, make me excited, so we don't let anything go through that's not fit for purpose, that's not marvellous. So this is a little journal tattoo under here. I know a lot of you have got her, this little girl. She was on, from the Wonderland uh, art workshop, if you want to learn how to paint such a thing. Uh, and on a pencil case, I had her in one of my first pencil pouches. And um, Yes. 
this is her it's a little journal tattoo and here she is in my book over this very very pigmented thing and then I'm, I'm just trying to control what goes on over here and of course it's not has never it didn't work out how I thought it was going to that doesn't mean it's bad it just means it's um it just wasn't quite what I was expecting so you just keep working on things um until I mean in terms of what's in my journal um this is too hard for people to work on for it to be in my collection Ooh! no I'm gonna use this it's yeah we are uh, I'm very fussy with what I allow all that to say I'm very fussy that's all I wanted to say with what do I allow in my world because I have to use it myself so um, and we've got some very very good choices and if it's not more useful or better than you know what the alternative is it doesn't offer something new well what's the point Will that bead up or will that will go or go? Huh. Well, I didn't think. Mind you, I've got something else on there, but I can't remember what it was. The paint pen. I didn't think that would stick to the journal tattoo, but it has. Sometimes when you've got weird things going on, you just discover so much. You discover what you like and what you don't like for a start. And that is a very valuable discovery, just in and of itself. Hmm. But if I get that to be bright white, I think I will like it way more. So if you ever come across something that keeps bleeding through, bleeding through, bleeding through, just add a little bit of whatever it is over the top and eventually you'll get it to settle down and you'll create enough of a new surface that you can get your highlight, whatever else it is that's on it, and it can help balance it out. It just takes a little bit of patience, that's all. We'll get there, won't we, girls? Yes, we will. I'm just talking to my art here. Oh, I really need to clean that before I go. Okay, now I really am going to go. Thank you for joining me. And uh, I hope you have fun and you learned a few things. Like I said, you can find everything at janedunport.com. And... Uh, Fabulousness. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>